You read that title correctly? Let's make bar blah, 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 blah. What? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Video with me, Erin Wells. And you read that title correctly? Let's make mock meat free meatloaf from Pinky Co's new cookbook, Eat Plants, biatch. Let's get started. So as a lot of you guys may or may not know, one of my recipes is featured in the owner of Slutty Vegan's new cookbook, Eat Plants, Biatch by Pinky Cole, but I already know how to make my recipe, which is the vegan fried fish. Let me show you guys, just in case you ain't picked up your copy, go get your copy. Your girl is on page 66 and 67. That is my vegan fried fish recipe. I didn't make this, like this ain't my picture, but they did that, whoever did that, it looks delicioso as it is in real life, amen? So yes, I am in this cookbook, uh, super, super excited, but yes, I saw this picture, this barbecue meatloaf, no mock meat, I had to make it. So that's what we're gonna make today. I'm gonna follow the instructions almost to the T. Um, I don't have my food processor now, y'all, because I think when I had my birthday party, um, I left it at the Airbnb. I did contact the host. He has not written me back um, about whether I left my blade over there, but I, 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 just telling y'all I had to hand chop these vegetables. That's all I'm, I had to hand chop everything, okay? So, because I don't have my food processor. But all right, I didn't talk too much. I just haven't seen y'all in a long time. I missed y'all. I mean, I've been on live, but I haven't been on a recorded video. Okay, I'm, I'm done talking. Let's, let's get started. All right, as you guys can see, I already added in the grapeseed oil, one cup of diced onions, carrots, and celery. Now we're going to season up with the Crazy James seasoning. Also, you guys, I did add like a fourth of a red bell pepper because it was in my fridge and I wanted to get rid of it. Amen. Um, now we're going to do the three tablespoons of garlic. I do have the frozen kind, but it works just fine. So I pop boom, boom, boom right into the pan and I'm going to stir that up and of course let it melt and incorporate into the flavors. Now we're going to add some black pepper and some salt to enhance our vegetables. Adding a little bit more oil because I noticed the pan had gotten a little dry and that's just not what we want. Amen. Now we're going to open up our two cans of chickpeas. Okay, I drained these but I did not rinse them because uh, the cheaper the chickpeas are, the tougher they are to mash. So, uh, I did leave these in original. I just I just drained. Maybe I did not rinse, okay? Because it says mashed with a fork. And I'm like, oh, Pinky don't know that these were just 78 cents. Uh, they not gonna mash. Uh-oh, who calling me? Pinky don't know that these not gonna mash like the good chickpeas. They, they need a little extra help, okay? They need a little extra help. So it says mashed with a fork. Oh, I might need a potato, a whole potato masher. I, I, I don't know what kind of chickpeas she think I got. But baby. Ain't nothing happening. Look at, hey, oh, I'm losing them. Come back, baby, come back. It says you do not want them to be completely pasty or mushy. But baby, they gotta at least be, ugh. Y'all, I'm so upset I don't have my food processor. Cause I'll just get these little I don't know why they ain't supposed to be mushy. Ain't they supposed to be like ground beef? Why we can't just mush them? Okay, fast forward this, cause y'all, this gonna be a minute. Okay, so let's do another three minutes um, for the vegetables. All right, in the meantime, let's do the rest of our mixture. We have our two cups of breadcrumbs going in. One, two. I do not have brown flaxseed, but I do have chia seed, so we're gonna do two tablespoons of that. I prefer chia seed to flax anyway. It has a milder taste. Next is two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. There's the alarm for our veggies. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off. Let me go ahead and give them another flip. So those are cut off. We're gonna let them cool while we finish the rest of our mixture here. Now it calls for two tablespoons of tamari, but we have good old soy sauce. This ain't organic, it ain't healthy, just regular old soy sauce, okay? But you can also use coconut aminos. But for my experiment, honey, I'm just gonna use good old Good old just soy sauce, okay? But it does say tamari. Just, I'm just saying. Now we're gonna do two tablespoons of vegan Worcester sauce. Make sure it does not have anchovies and it is vegan. The recipe does not call for this, but I am gonna add some browning just to enhance the flavor a little bit and for the color. Just a couple of shakes, okay, boom. We're gonna go in with some ketchup. Just gonna make, you know, a couple of passes. I'm, I'm feeling like four passes, okay? Oh, oh, it's stopped. Bam! 
add a dash of liquid smoke. One, two, three, okay. All right, now we're gonna combine everything together, our chickpeas, our mixture, our vegetables, and we're gonna make this meatloaf, y'all. Let me combine this up first, okay. And then we're gonna add in our chickpeas. Our cot Let me mush as I go down. Let's just mush them as they come out, okay? Cause baby, I don't think they're supposed to still be circles. But she said don't mush them too much. So I don't understand why you're not supposed to mush them. I, I just think you're not supposed to use these cheap chickpeas. I, I really, I really, really do. And then we're going to add in our veggies. Mm, let's not burn ourselves completely. We we got things for this. Oh, I know y'all big mad I'm putting this pork on this cast iron. Hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry. They be big mad when I do that. I got the wooden spoon. I'm so sorry. Cooking police. I know y'all are having a... Uh, an aneurysm, honey. I might add more ketchup. I, I just, I, the color is just not giving. <laughs> it is just not giving. I know ketchup goes on the top too. I know, I know. All right. I have no idea where my loaf pan is, y'all. So we're gonna have a regular baking dish, <laughs> but we'll try to form it into a loaf, okay? So let's go ahead and put this inside. Looks like it's really big enough to be in this pan, honestly. We're gonna try to form it though. All right, let's try to form this into a loaf. I mean, this is actually really huge. It looks very nutritious. And since it's vegan, y'all, we can actually taste it before we put it in the oven. Let me combine it a little bit more. I feel like it's really not combined. All right, let's give it a little taste before we uh, put it in the oven and put a little glaze on here just to make sure we like the inside. Oop. Period. Okay. All right, here we go. Don't love it, don't hate it. It needs a glaze. Let's go ahead and glaze it. It, it tastes like what it is, y'all. It tastes like a bunch of vegetables. It tastes like what it is. It, I mean, let's glaze it first. Okay, y'all, so the recipe does not say put the glaze on yet, but I am. It says just put it in the uh, oven and cover it with foil. I, I'm gonna cover it with foil and ketchup, okay? So I am gonna put ketchup on it now and later, okay? Because I just think ketchup or barbecue sauce is literally what makes meatloaf right so i think that's what it's missing when i tried it uh, was definitely that signature ketchup taste i wanted to bake on top you know what i mean so i'm gonna cover with this with foil um and put it in the oven for the 30 minutes it's already on 400 as you guys know and then we will be back here is a close-up for y'all we are fresh out of the oven let's get into it whole 30 minutes okay so boom, that's what we're looking like. Let me open the book back up because I do believe we're supposed to let it sit. Y'all, it's a lot of good recipes up in here. Look at these scallions look good. I mean scallop, yes. Ugh. Scallops look good, these egg rolls look good. Brussels sprouts, pasta, ooh. French onion soup. Okay, but where is the, where did the meatloaf go? Okay, so what we're supposed to do now is take some more Worcester sauce plus ketchup and spread it over. Obviously, we already have a bunch of ketchup. I will add some more, but I'm just going to douse this with Worcestershire sauce. Bam. And we are going to add some more ketchup. Just a little bit. We already have a lot on here. And then we're going to... Now we're going to bake for 15 more minutes uncovered. Okay. And then we'll have our final meatloaf, y'all. Just so y'all can see with a little light on here. Bam, all right, let's bake this again. All right, guys, we are back. We are out of the oven. Why is it like a little burnt piece right there? What is that? I don't know what this is. It's on top, maybe the worst, I don't know. I am cooking some cabbage to go with my meatloaf. But here we are. Oh, I'm kind of excited. Okay, I'm gonna mess it up and just kind of take a little scoop out of it so we can get into it. Okay. Sorry, y'all, it's getting dark. My ring light has not been unpacked. It's, listen, I just wanted to hurry up and make this video because it's been a long time. My ring light has not been unpacked from the party either. Okay. Yes, it says wait 15 minutes before you slice. So we got to wait again, but I'm going to taste this though. Okay. Can we get some kind of good lighting? Hold on. Okay. I had to stand in front of the door so y'all can see a little bit. Okay. It tastes like what it is. I would not give this to meat eaters. For it to be a recipes that'll blow your meat loving mind this is very much so you've been vegan for a while i would eat this i would eat this 
I've been vegan for a while. You know what I mean? I would not get into my meat eater friends. I just would not. But we're gonna let it sit for 15 more minutes and see what it does, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all, it has been 15 minutes. Let me get the light for y'all. I know it's dark. I know it's getting dark. Hold on. Does that help? There you go, y'all. Bam, there is our meatloaf, okay? So let's give it, let's slice it up. And we're gonna plate it. Okay, where I wanna go? Let's go from this way, maybe, okay? Let me see. Okay, it is keeping a little shape. Let me go right in the middle. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe not the middle. Oh, it's not slicing. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. You just got to get it to the plate. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> we just got to get it to the plate. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, okay, hold on. I got to get a good thumbnail. Let me try one more piece. Oh. Okay, you know what? We I'm just going to know that piece ain't no better. That piece ain't no better. Worse. Okay, we don't have a thumbnail. Okay. There's no thumbnail. The, the thumbnail gonna have to be me holding her cookbook. Okay, there, the, this, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. Now, we we not saying, you know, I always say what well, we did different. We, we did not follow the recipe ver verbatim. We didn't mush up the, you can see I got some whole, y'all know I got some whole chickpeas in here. The lighting is trash. Very much so trash. I will have the, but it don't matter. Y'all saw what happened. Y'all, y'all seen it. Let's, let's, let's taste it. Okay. Let's just taste it. I'm sorry. This is. Okay. It needs way more salt, which ironically, I don't think she said to put salt in here. Hold on. The oven, oil, saute, chickpeas, breadcrumbs, doo -doo -doo -doo. she probably forgot. There is no, it don't say salt, pepper, nothing, okay? I happen to have added it as y'all saw, but, and look at the picture, look how pretty the picture is. Focus, look at that. Let's go get ours. We tried. So in conclusion, um, I'm gonna eat this. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna eat this. Um, but do not get it to your meat, your your meat eater, okay? This is the most vegan meatloaf I think I've ever had. <laughs> but you try it. You grind it up better. Put a little extra salt. I will put more Worcestershire inside. Mush these chickpeas more. Anyway, y'all, we'll be back with more recipes if you want me to test out more recipes from eat plants b word y'all let me know but right now let me um i'm gonna add some more ketchup to my meatloaf and i'm gonna enjoy i'm gonna enjoy but that's because i'm already vegan amen all right bye as always make sure you like comment subscribe down below and i'll see you next time peace